How's it going guys? We are back. And this will be probably the last video that gets shot on here unless I want to show you guys some different accessories that I'm thinking about getting. Uh, I finally got her registered. Got a plate on her. And I was able to... Actually, I took it up to Zion yesterday just to see what it would do. And uh, all the driving I did yesterday... I went back and forth to Walmart at the end of uh, at the end of town, and I came back through town and decided to go up to Zion. But I probably drove it about 70 miles, probably all together. And I was just kind of curious to see what would fail if something would, you know, vibrate loose or whatever. I had a couple issues, nothing too major, but this cheap Chinese muffler, which is going to get replaced with something much better looking and smaller. Used to be a cone up until well yesterday. There was a cone there. There's not a cone there anymore. It disappeared. Oh. And then down here at this chain tensioner, you see those washers at the bottom. Those washers are designed to stop it from rocking forward too far. And uh, I had it's fixed now, but I had some smaller washers on there. The hole was bigger than the bolt, and uh, it got rocked forward hard a couple times, and this watch just moved up a little bit, and it ended up coming down at an angle and threw the chain off. Then the chain tried to eat through the, the chain tried to eat through the top of the right there where that bolt is, and uh, well, I rewelded that, cut some spacers down, evened everything out. Relubed everything, bolted everything back, added another spring, so that problem is fixed. And, uh, let's see, what else? The only other thing that came loose was there was a bolt on the back of the ignition plate back there. It's been, it's been replaced and loctited. But other than that, the rest of the bike did pretty good. Didn't really have any issues. I mean, you know, a lot of vibration. Last video, I didn't have the seats done. Uh, they're done now, obviously, as you can tell. This is just an embossed vinyl. I probably got it from Amazon. I usually go to Joanne's Fabrics, but uh, it's just easy to order stuff online. Not too bad. I got some foam under there. Still need a speedometer, so I think I'm going to end up just getting a little, little twist-off GPS. They don't have to have a wire down the rear wheel. I don't want to have to mess with all that. Uh, the grips are still Chinese garbage, and they still got to go. I just need to give me some red ones, and uh, probably need a throttle rocker, because that, that throttle is kind of hard to pull. Well, I'll show you why in a minute. But the fender stayed on. Turn signals are great shape. Headlights worked. Um, down here is the cobalt battery. Right there, it slides in and out, so it can be charged, and there's a little light switch. That runs the headlights, tail lights, and then uh, turn signals run off of the ignition, excuse me, the battery for the motor. Reason being because you can run 24 volts through LED things, but it's still an awful lot of juice, even for those little turn signals. So I'd rather have those on 12 volts and then have the headlights on the, and the tail lights on the 24. But Moving on here, back brake worked fantastic, the logo didn't fell off, the logo did not fall off is what I meant to say. Uh, the little turn signal box is still there, the motor held together pretty good, didn't have any issues with it running. Although, you know, this thing does 55, it's top speed, and it's got I think a 24 inch rear wheel. I don't know how many RPM I'm running, it might be 4,000 something, 4,500, something, something like that, because it's been uh, de-restricted, or the governor bypass rather. But this is a 6 to 1 gear ratio, if I was to go, if I, uh, it's got 60 tooth rear sprocket, it's got a 10 on the clutch. If I was to drop that sprocket a few tees, I could get her to go. 60, 65. I've actually got one of these to do 70. 
there's never been a video done on that bike because I wasn't making videos back in the day when I built that bike. But that was a fully pimped out 420 engine. And that thing was a screamer. But I did drive it. Kind of an unofficial world record. But I did drive it from Las Vegas to Laughlin and back again. And uh, it held up. But... So maybe a little valve float at the higher RPMs, but you know you can get the heavy duty valve strings for these. They sell tons of custom parts for these uh, online, so maybe a couple upgrades here and there. But uh, you know, for all that vibration, I mean, yeah, I felt it in my nuts, but uh, the mirror stayed on and everything held together pretty well. I don't know if I had the wiring done last time, so. I'll give you guys a little rundown of how I did the wiring. It comes down and kind of junctioned out there, and, and then uh, let's see, yeah, it kind of goes under the box, and goes back, and you kind know, of see the wiring there, and it comes up over and slides up under the tank and pops out, and then splits up underneath for the turn signals. I am so happy this bike is pretty much done. I need to move on to the go-kart and build a jack shaft for it. The gear ratio on that is a little, uh, eh, it's a little weak to say the least, but jacks out to solve that problem. <sighs> you know what's funny? You go driving this down, he, if you park just next to a Lamborghini, not that there's any around here that I could park it next to, but guarantee you people won't even notice the car sitting there. This, uh, <laughs> ah, this is the looks you get, they're just priceless. You know, there's a lot of people out there just think I'm a moron and they would never ever do anything like this, and that's fine. I'll be a moron all day, but uh, at the end of the day, heck, who cares? I can build and they can't, so screw them all right guys this is a front end that you have seen in a lot of the other videos on the trike and there was another bike this is my this is ZF 600r front end so likely this is going might be my next project maybe the go-kart not 100 percent sure I'm not going to show you a video of it running because you guys already saw it go down the street a couple of videos ago. So. And, uh. I'm not monetized at all. I don't care about any of that. I just build this stuff and put it on YouTube so I can have a video log of my build, really. So I can go back and look at that and go, what the hell was I thinking? Or go back and be like. That wasn't too bad. Maybe I'll build something like that again. I did join a motorcycle group called Two Wheels St. George. And uh, I took the Z650 out there a day and rode with them for a little while. It's a very eclectic group of bikes and people, to say the least. And uh, this is definitely going. <laughs> definitely going next Saturday. If I get the chance. So... Now that I've done done a shakeout run and I know what's going to hold up and what's not. And I've pretty much repaired the stuff that the vibration kind of took out. Uh, I don't have any issues driving this all the way into St. George from where I'm at. And obviously I can't take the freeway. But. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know what the hell this was. A series, I guess. I mean, it's not like I tell you guys how to build something. I just kind of build it and show you each stage and get out those welders ignore your neighbors and get to work have a good day guys